guys! Welcome back. So for today's video, I actually wanted to do a remake of one that I did almost exactly a year ago before we went to Vancouver. And that is what is in my travel makeup bag. Because as optimistic as I'd like to be, unless we're going to like a wedding or some specific special function where I'm going to need a whole bunch of crazy stuff, I really don't use half of what I bring. By the time you see this, we'll probably actually be on vacation, so I'm pre-filming a couple of videos so that you guys still have some content while I'm gone. I know, I know you're just going to miss me so much. I'm just kidding. But this time, I really think I've kind of got this whole travel makeup thing figured out. So I got this for my birthday from my sister-in-law, and this is one of those Lay Me Flat makeup bags and you basically open the bag up and it lays flat and not like a circle. You put whatever you want in the bag and then you zip it up with this and it it basically it's supposed to take up the least amount of space because you're just kind of like sucking it all in together. When you look at it it does look kind of bulky and big and quite large, you know, kind of round, but if you actually look at it, it it's not taking up that much room. It's really flat. This is like a pair of jeans or like a sweater in your luggage, so it's really not much space at all. So now I'm actually going to lay this flat here on my desk so I can show you what I put in it and why I chose these couple of items to travel with. I apparently have already stained this with my concealer. It's great. So first things first, when you're on vacation, if you're not planning on doing anything particularly fancy or anything where you're, you're going to need a lot of different makeup options, girl, just go simple. There's... What I'm wearing today is only what I have put in this little, little bag. So I have a lot of multi-purpose products, a lot of things that I just cut out of the list completely because honestly I'm not going to wear them. So first of all, you guys know my favorite foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but it is kind of bulky to travel with and there's no pump. So it can make a giant mess if something happens to it. There's just no getting around it. So this time I decided to travel with just a BB cream. Finding a BB cream for oily skin is really hard because BB creams are generally very light coverage and they don't, they're not like, there's no mattifying BB creams really out there. It, it's just not, it's kind of not the point, I guess. However, I did find one and this is the Herborean Korean Skin Therapy BB Cream Nude. And this is Total Sheer Makeup Care Face Cream 5-in-1. It also has SPF 20 in it, so you might get a little bit of flashback in your pictures, but I would rather have some sunscreen and a little bit of coverage, you know. The flashback doesn't really bother me. But so far, this is the best thing that I found for oily skin. It really does last all day. A lot of BB creams go on, they look really good, and then if you start to sweat, they just start breaking up, and it looks really bad, like really terrible. But this one, this is what it says that it's supposed to do. So it says it's supposed to even out and mattify the complexion. Thank you. I like that. Reduce the appearance of blemishes, refine skin's texture, moisturize and plump the skin, and give a non-oily, velvety finish for a sheer, flawless finish. And the best part about this is you can apply it with your fingers. The less you need to bring, the better. And the trip that we're going on in about a week from when I'm filming this is one where we have very strict weight restrictions on our bags. We're only bringing carry-ons and the less I can bring along the better because that means the more I can bring back. So, Next up is my Tarte Shape Tape. This is just my all-around favorite concealer. I, I still have some issues with Tarte after that, um, what is it, the Shape Tape Foundation launch? Still have some issues, but I have two Shape Tapes that I am at least trying to use up. So this is going in my bag. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to this one, 
but it's a big giant mess and it just gets everywhere so I might have to actually rethink this but anyway since I am bringing such a lightweight base I did want to bring like a more heavy-duty concealer you know just for those days when you have a random blemish pop up you didn't get enough sleep or you just had a little too much fun I also forgot about a primer and I do really need one for my skin so that's something I can't really skip but it's the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. This is really good and this is probably my favorite drugstore primer out there. It's not tacky so things don't like they're not just gonna like adhere to it but it does leave you looking super poreless and super matte so this is also coming with I am also bringing a powder. This is my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. You guys have probably seen this in every description box that I ever do. <laughs> because it's just perfect for evening out the skin tone. Even when you have very little on, it just does wonders. And it comes with a puff on the inside here that actually works pretty well. So there's one side for less coverage and one side for more coverage. So. This is a winner. This always comes with me no matter where I am going. And then after the base products, everything is super, super minimal with me. So I have a blush. This is the Tarte Blush in Party. This is actually a sample size. I think I got this last year for my birthday as part of one of the Sephora gifts, I think. And this is the perfect blush if you kind of want to sculpt your cheeks a little bit without using bronzer because I'm not bringing one. And next is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. So, like I said, I don't bring bronzer and I'm not bringing any eyeshadow. This is actually going to be doing double duty. This is my highlight today. It's popping. But this is also my lid shade and my inner corner shade. This kind of bright, shimmery, light shade, at least on me, really helps open up my eyes, makes them look wider, more awake, even when you don't feel like it. So this is doing double duty. This is my eyeshadow and my highlighter. So another product that's kind of two in one. And for my brows, it is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and my trusty L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I actually like the Catrice pencil more than this, but the Catrice one requires a sharpener. That I really don't want to bring along. So the NYX one self sharpens so there's no need for that extra item in your makeup bag. It's still a good color and it honestly it's so thin it takes up so little room. And then after that it's just your mascara of choice and that's it. I would probably recommend a waterproof one since you sometimes you don't know what you're gonna be doing but I've got the Catrice Rock Couture one in here. I might change it to a waterproof one, but for the most part, that's that's my entire makeup bag. I also have three brushes, so I have a powder brush, a blush brush, and my concealer brush. And I probably honestly don't really need the powder brush, but sometimes you need that powder brush for when you make a mistake with your blush or your highlighter and you just go too hard and you got clown cheeks this comes in handy so I'm bringing it I know this is probably the ugliest quart size bag you have ever seen but I like to reuse these as long as they you know stay viable and yes there are a couple of things you have to put in that bag because to get through TSA they will pull you aside and tell you that you can't have that in your carry-on without it you know going through the conveyor belt and that. Now we are going somewhere that is going to be quite a bit chillier than it is here in Houston right now. I mean I think today was like 80. So that does mean that I'm going to need a moisturizer that can handle that kind of weather and my favorite one, the Bulldog one, isn't really travel friendly. It's just slightly over the, the size limit you know for carry-on liquids and stuff. So the best one that I found, aside from, you know, just squirting that stuff in a travel bottle, is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for Body and Face, and this is for all skin types. This is like a dollar at the drugstore, and it's lightweight, 
and it absorbs really quickly, but it it's just the best at keeping your skin feeling hydrated even in like the coldest weather. So when we were in Chicago and it was like negative two, my skin never felt dry at all there because of the Cetaphil. So I highly recommend this if you're traveling and it's so tiny, it's so perfect for this bag. So this is going in the bag for face wash. I am super basic. I don't need to travel with anything crazy. I just like the St. Ives apricot scrub. This is also like a dollar at the drugstore. This has been like my tried and true favorite pretty much since I was in my teens. It's never let me down. So I usually bring one of these along as well. And the last thing that's really going to need to go in this bag is I do like to bring a setting spray because I have super oily skin. So I like to actually take these travel size ones. They're basically, if you spend $25 at Sephora or you pick like a free sample at checkout, sometimes they let you pick these deluxe ones. You can get this travel size Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and this, this has lasted me through like three trips so far and it's still going strong so this is a good option to travel with as is this little Scandinavia makeup spray I think this came free with like a $25 purchase or something so these two are like my two little travel buddies for my setting sprays and let's just throw the Urban Decay one in here and that's that's it that's everything that goes in this bag that leaves you with a ton of space if you want to bring something back that is liquid and has to go in this bag. Oh, sorry. I feel like I talked really fast throughout that. I was just really excited because this is the first time I really feel like I'm only bringing along like the basics and the stuff that, you know, just kind of make me feel a little more comfortable if, because obviously people are taking pictures and you're meeting people sometimes that you don't know and you just kind of want to feel a little more confident. So I feel like I've finally, I finally got it right. And remember, if something does come up where you need more makeup, you need, I don't know, you need like eyeliner to kind of, you know, amp your look up a little more, you need more eyeshadow. Most times and most places that you're going, you're going to be able to find something there that will work for you. So I am pretty sure that if I forget anything, it'll be pretty easily accessible, but I don't really foresee needing a whole lot more than this. So, and remember, this is just me and, you know, my personal preferences. If you guys have products that you really enjoy traveling with and they perform really well on the go, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm always looking for new travel alternatives, especially if it means I can forego bringing like a sponge or a brush or something else to kind of lighten my load a little bit. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Like I said, I feel like I talked kind of fast. I'm sorry. But I was just really excited because for the first time, I feel like I'm just traveling with the necessities and I'm not bringing along, you know, all that extra stuff that you're just not going to use. If you guys do like this video or you like any of these videos, don't forget to give them a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button either down below or up here in the corner before you leave. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!